the girl set some combs up here. Now, this is a slicker brush. This is definitely what I would not use on this dog, okay? Um, a slicker brush doesn't get down to the skin and these bristles move. So if I hit a knot, it just pulls right out of the, you know, if I hit a, if I hit a mat, it will just pull right over the mat. So it won't do anything to cut that mat out. A slicker brush on either of these two will actually turn them into just, it's, this has a teasing effect. So it'll turn them into just fluff balls, okay? Uh, they gave me a cutting tool to talk about, and this is actually really good. These are really sharp, okay? So this is not a kid's toy here. This is not something the kiddos should be doing. But if you get knots and mats, um, go away, go with the grain, okay? And you get this down and you comb through. You can see, he's, I mean, this is pulling right through because he's not matted. But if you get some, these razors will actually help to cut and break that up and, uh, you know, help you to uh, comb them out a little bit better. Uh, this is kind of a, it's unnecessary if you don't comb on a regular basis, but I assure you, combing on a regular basis, you won't even need to spend the money to get one of these, and you really shouldn't. Um, it'll take you more time, if this guy was tangled, it'll take you more time to detangle him using one of these, and uh, you can see how the width between these, so, I mean, mats can still get in between them. So it's going to take you a very long time using this tool to detangle a dog if they're tangled up. Best solution, simply use a hard comb, comb them on a regular basis, in this case being at least, at least every other day, but if not, every day preferable.